hope is catching all of the inches. It's probably not. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, my name is Shani. Thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. I do beauty videos here on this channel, hair videos, lifestyle content, and I also post vlogs weekly. So, if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe, turn on your bell notification, and come back and watch every single week. But, enough of that. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I wash, blow dry, and straighten back out my clip-ins. Nobody asked for this video, but I was like, I might as well. It was a video idea that was in my head and I had to do it. So yeah, if you guys are interested in how I wash my clip-ins, let's go ahead and get into how I wash my clip-ins. And then I'll just throw them in at the end and fast forward and all that good stuff in the end of the video. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> All right, so I'm starting off with everything all set out. My shampoos and everything is on the right, and then I have my two sets of clip-ins. The one on the far left is, is the one that I got like two or three years ago, and the one on the right is the ones that I just got about two months ago that was dyed black, so it is gonna go through some bleeding as you guys will see when I wash them, so don't be alarmed. They're still in the process of like bleeding. So these are the shampoos that I'm going to use, the Main & Tell Body Shampoo. Um, it makes the hair really shiny. And then the second shampoo that I'm gonna use is from It's a 10, and it's the Silk Express Miracle Silk Shampoo, which is so fake free. And I really like this shampoo because for one, it smells really, really good, and it makes the hair so soft and shiny. I use this on my hair and I also use these on my clip-ins. And then once I'm done washing and blow drying my clip-ins, I like to put this Frizz Be Gone Serum on the hair, use like a praying hand motion and put it in the hair and then blow dry it and flat iron it. And this just works. I've been using this stuff for years. It works for my hair and it works for my clip-ins. So the first thing that you want to do when you're washing your clip-ins or before you even think about putting water on your clip-ins you want to make sure you go in and brush the clip-ins out and make sure they're all detangled now when i am going through and detangling the clip-ins i do separate each weft of clip-ins and i detangle them separately and then once every weft of clip-in is detangled i'll just put them back in a bundle and comb them out one more good time before i actually go in to wash the clip-ins but i do like to make sure i separate everything and brush everything out separately and then put them back together because i want to make sure everything is detangled because if it's not detangled before you wash them it can gotta get tangled while you're washing them and that's just not good if you want to prolong the life of your clip-ins and you want to treat them right and you want them to last longer i would just recommend detangling them up front and then washing them instead of detangling them while they're wet because your clip-ins are more prone to shedding while they're wet and if you're tugging on your clip-ins while they are wet you can also loosen up their thread on your clip-ins which will make the clips come off so just to avoid all of that detangle up front and then wash okay so here's a close-up of my clip-ins and i'm showing you guys this because um i do get product build up on the weft of the clip-in which is why i washed the entire clip-in now i do keep my clip-ins in for about three weeks to a month at a time so when my hair gets dirty the clip-ins get dirty because i'm doing styles i'm spraying in hairspray just doing the most to my clip-in so when they're dirty they're dirty all right let me not make it seem like my clip-ins be disgusting and stinking is none of that over here we just be having a little bit of product build up because i do wear them three weeks at a time and i am doing my hair i am using products i am scratching my head so build up is expected but I just wanted to clear that up. All right, moving on to washing my clip-ins. I like to start with the shortest bundle because it's the easiest and quickest to wash to get it out of the way. So I do start with my shortest bundle and I just like to start off by pulling the water through the bundle or the weft because I shampoo and wash everything separately. So I like to pull the water through the weft and then I'll just take my shampoo, put a dot on the top of the weft and then pull the shampoo through and then when I wash the shampoo out I just keep doing that downward pulling motion and just like massaging the product 
out and through the hair and in this whole process of me shampooing the hair i like to make sure i'm actually paying attention to how my clip-ins fill and make sure all of the product is coming off the hair of the clip-ins so you do want to be mindful of how your clip-ins are filling if it feels like there's product still sitting on the hair of the clip-ins shampoo another time and get everything out of the clip-ins this is just what i like to do personally because i don't like previous products to be still sitting on the hair so i like to get everything off the clip-ins and out of the clip-ins i kind of treat my clip-ins like they're my actual hair so if i feel like there's product buildup on my hair i'm going to shampoo it another time until i feel like it's squeaky clean which usually only take about two to three rounds of shampooing to get everything up and out of the hair and then i'll just lay the clip-in off to the side once i feel like it's clean and then start on another weft okay so i'm almost done washing my short set of clip-ins and as you guys will see i'm kind of going to start brushing through the clip-ins because i felt like they were getting a little tangled now if you are going to brush through your clip-ins you want to make sure you're being gentle because like i said it's prone to breakage and it's prone to you loosening the thread when you brush your clip-ins while they're wet so i am just going to gently brush through the clip-ins just to get the tangles out and smooth the clip-ins back out before i lay them on the towel because i just like to make sure everything is smoothed out and detangled okay because it just makes it easier when it comes to blowing out the hair when everything is detangled everything goes smoothly okay moving on to my 20 inch bundle of clip-ins i basically do the same exact thing drenching the hair with water and then pulling the shampoo down and through the hair just to get it clean sometimes i'll do one to two shampoos but it really just depends on if the hair feels clean to me or not but one thing that i do do differently with a longer length of clip-ins is stop the sink up and do a dunking motion to get majority of the soap out of the product and i feel like this helps with keeping the hair detangled and i'm basically just using the weight of the water to keep the hair detangled and pull the majority of the shampoo out of the hair and then go in with the final rinse and as you guys can see, the color of the water is changing because like I said in the beginning of the video, these clip-ins are new and they were dyed black. So I guess they're still in their process of shedding and bleeding, whatever you call it. I'm not like a hair expert, but <laughs> these were dyed. So I kind of just connected the two and I was like, oh, okay, the hair is, you know, shedding because, you know, they were dyed. So that is why so don't be alarmed because the color of the water is going to change as i continue to shampoo my hair okay so this is my final shampoo and i basically just call this a shampoo bath a silk bath whatever you want to call it so i'm using the it's a 10 silk express miracle silk shampoo and i'm using this to coat my clip-ins because this shampoo makes the clip-ins very shiny and it makes the clip-ins match my hair even more so like i said i just squirt some of this into the water and i dunk my clip-ins in it and just massage the product or massage the shampoo water through the hair and once I feel like the clip-ins or the hair in general is coated with the shampoo then I rinse it out and move on to the next bundle and that's basically what I'm doing in this part you guys will see well you guys are seeing that the um my newest bundle of clip-ins are still in the process of like bleeding um I told you guys in the beginning of the video that these were dyed um black so i guess that's why they're still shedding they don't make my hair itch or anything like that like i said these are still fairly 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 new so yeah just don't mind it's okay i think it's fine it hasn't harmed my hair at all i don't think <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, moving on to conditioning. I know the shampoo process was probably a little long, but I wanted to make sure I'm being very detailed with what I do with my clip-in, so I hope you guys don't mind. So to condition my clip-ins, I'm going to set the water, put conditioner in the water, and then I'm going to actually put conditioner on the actual hair and then massage the conditioner through the hair. And I'm just going to set everything off to the side and put all of my clip-ins in a bag and let them sit for about 30 minutes so that the conditioner can soak into the hair. I'm basically deep conditioning my clip-ins and in the meantime, while the conditioner is like sinking into the hair, I'm just gonna clean up a little bit and then come back and rinse out the conditioner. So this is the shedding that I got so far and I'm just going to rinse my brush out and go back through and smooth out the clip-ins and detangle them again. It really didn't take that long because they were already detangled. They just got a little tangled because of the conditioning and all that other stuff. So I'm just going to go back through and comb through the hair, place them on the mat, and then I'm just going to lay them out to dry for 20 about 24 hours i didn't put these clip-ins back in my hair the day after washing them this is like a whole span of like a three to four week period i don't do this all in one day well i do wash the clip-ins in one day and then sit them out but i don't blow dry it and strain it the next day it really depends on when i'm about to wear my clip-ins so yeah i just want to clarify i don't do all of this in one day the washing process is one day for itself and then the blow drying and straightening process is for a whole nother day when I know I'm about to wear my clip in. So, yeah. All right, now that everything is separated, I'm going to lay out my longest bundle of clip-ins. And I also switched my towels to a towel that's more dry um, so that it won't be like a wet towel just sitting on my countertops. Um, and I also need the towel to catch all of the extra water that's in the clip-ins. And I also like to um, fold the hair into the towel to get all of the excess water out of the towel. And I just let these sit overnight and then I transfer them over to a hanger so that they can hang and be ready for when I want to blow dry them and straighten them back out. Okay, so this is how the clip-ins are looking after drying for about 24 hours, maybe longer than that. Um, but this is how they look when they are completely dry. They're still weightless, flowy. You can put your hands through it. It's detangled. Everything is good. Everything is dry. Um, when it does come to doing your natural hair or just doing hair in general, I believe that using less product in the hair will help you get the look that you're trying to achieve. So yeah, let's get into blow drying the hair out. I'm gonna put a little bit of Frisbee Gone on the hair and then I'm just going to blow dry the hair out with my Dimmin brush. The Dimmin brush is on the back side of the clip-ins and then I have the um, blow dryer pointing directly on the clip-ins and pulling everything in a downward motion and this is how it's looking this is like the first step of straightening the hair out i want to get it as straight as possible in this process because when it comes to straightening i feel like straightening is that last step that you do to like seal everything in and soak everything out so when it comes to um blowing out the clip-ins i like to do it in sections i blow dry it on a high heat and I just have like one or two clip-ins on the hanger at a time just so that I can 
get it as straight as possible in this process and I'm putting the blow dryer in a downward motion. Another thing about the clip-ins, when you're placing your clip-ins on the hanger, if you well, if you do blow dry your clip-ins on a hanger, I would highly recommend doing this by the way because girl, I just can remember back in the day when I used to put the blow dryer, well put the clip-ins in my mouth and try to show y'all oh my gosh but yeah we live and we learn make sure you invest in well not even invest in because i don't think these hangers were a lot of money at all i got them from amazon a while ago and then i just started putting um the clip-ins on a hanger because now i have a space for it so another thing about placing the clip-ins on the hanger you want to make sure you place the clips like the clips on the actual clip-in weft you want to make sure that weft is above the clamp because if you clamp the hair into the um if you clamp the hair into the hanger, it's going to slide out. But if you put the clip above and then clamp the hair into the hanger, the clips stop it from like slipping out. So it has that tension and it has that tug to it. And when it comes to straightening, you are putting a lot of tension on the hair. So you want to make sure the clip ends don't slip and slide out. Um, they are, some of them are going to slip out. But if you do place the clips above the um, clamp, it helps it not slip as much. Moving into straightening, I wanted to make sure I placed the hangers on a um, towel so that it won't be slipping and sliding all over the place. So it just helps it stay into place. Um, with straightening, I'm just going to do the chasing method and I'm actually going to be pulling the hair as well. So I'm chasing the comb with a flat iron, but I'm also pulling the hair, if that makes sense. I'm pulling the hair taut so that when I am straightening, all the straightening is doing is sealing in the straightness if that makes sense so I'm pulling the hair down I have the comb and then I'm chasing the comb with the um, flat iron and I think I'm straightening this hair at 440 degrees I'm not too sure but yeah you're gonna have to use a little bit of heat and these clip-ins can take the heat so I'm just don't want to have to do girl <laughs> As far as trimming the ends of my clippings, I really don't do much. I'm just dusting. I think that's what this is called. Anything that doesn't fall in line, if I feel like there's like straggly ends, I'll just trim it off. I just want it to look trim and I want the hair to look like it's been kept up. So I like to trim the ends and make sure they just all fall in line and they look crisp and clean. So yeah, that's basically all I do. But this is how the clippings look. They're shiny, they're trimmed, they're not frizzy, anything like that. And they look really, really good. So now I can curl them. I can do basically whatever with this hair um, and it will blend with my hair perfectly. Because I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You could be my baby, let me make you my lady. Girl, you amaze me, and gotta do nothing crazy. All right, so clippings are washed, straightened, trimmed, pressed out, and they're all laid out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my hair. I pretty much do the same thing with these clip-ins as I do with my short clip-ins. If you watch my detailed clip-in hair extension tutorial, it's pretty much the same thing, but um, I'm using a five clip-in whip. I'm not sure if I'm gonna fit the whole bundle in my head, but I'm using one bundle of blown straight um her giving hair clip-ins the fan is on by the way so if that's annoying my bad so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and clip in my clip-ins so that you guys can see the transformation because clip-ins are a vibe they're easy you only have to buy them one time and they last for years literally so yeah let me go ahead and do my hair enough of my talking we're gonna start with five clip-in with like i did in my what video was that when I first got these clip-ins? It was a life update. Oh, my chit-chat, get ready with me. 
So I'm basically kind of doing the same. Not really, not really, but I'm pretty much clipping my hair the same every single time. It's just a little different each time, you know? All I did was section it off in the back. I just used my fingers and then I'm just going to place the clippings in. Like I said, if you want a detailed video, I will link that for you because I'm just throwing these in. So y'all can see how the clippings look when they're like freshly strained out, you know? I know I'm this wide so I'm just gonna make a three clipping left out of this four clipping left and a one clipping left so I'm just gonna cut right here all right so I'm just gonna squeeze this clipping in like right here there's barely any hair there but I'm gonna see if I can do it <laughs> I'm just gonna clip it down on whatever hair is right there. Thicken it up a bit. Because I felt like I needed another clip in in the back. All right. And now I'm just gonna come to the crown of my head, like right here, right here this up and I'm gonna put a clip in on this hand right here that one clip in that I made I'm gonna clip it right there Yay. all right all 
Alright, so this is a one pack of Blown Out Kinky Straight Clip-Ins from Her Given Hair. I think it looks pretty natural. Um, I probably could fit a little bit more clip-ins in my hair, but honestly, I don't have the surface area for that. I don't have the headspace for that, so I'm just going to leave it as is. Maybe if I go to a professional, they'll be able to like do it the proper way, but until then, <laughs> I'm going to keep clipping in my hair how I usually do it. So. Yeah, this is how the hair looks. This is how it looks from the back. I hope it's catching all of the inches. It's probably not. And I feel like you can still see my hair, but it's okay. Nobody's really paying that much attention, honestly. Like, when I go out, people think this is my hair, which is what we want right i don't want you to be able to tell i have clippings in you know what i'm saying so yeah cute right cute you can flip it if you want to you can flip it this will look really good if i had um my hair curled right now but it's not curled as you guys can see but yeah you can flip it part it on the side Part it on this side and flip it. Part it on this side. And then I think I can put it up in a ponytail. I don't know. If I had my shorter clip ins, I would probably be able to put it up. This is what it looks like in a ponytail if you were going to put it in a ponytail. Cute, super cute. Really versatile. I feel like the clip-ins are showing, but yeah. Yeah. Let me chill because I am starting to sweat. Alright y'all, so that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. My face is going to pop up on the screen. All you have to do is click on it and you're subscribed and I will see you guys in my next video which I'm going to be placing it on the screen so if you haven't already watched this video definitely check it out and let me know if you're coming from this video but yeah love y'all thank you so much again for watching this video staying tuned to the end and all that good stuff I will see you guys later Bye. cuz it's late it's 4 it's 4 18 in the morning I'll see y'all later <laughs>